Today's project is the Sylvia. I've done a lot of work on the Corona lately, so uh, we'll work on this guy for a little bit. Um, the paint on it, I don't think, has been polished for probably 10, 20 years, if not ever. Um, but the paint's pretty good, so um, it's just really dulled. Yeah, so there you go, there's the car washed. Um, looks shiny, but there is those dull bits all over it, and heat's heat bit on the bonnet, and um, just general kind of looking faded. Completely clay barred the whole car, and as you can see, it's already looking a bit better. Um, it's looking nice and shiny, uh, and it feels nice though, it feels like glass now. So, um, but clay bar obviously hasn't got rid of any, any swirls, scratches, etc. So it just pretty much cleans the paint. Um, so right now it's looking nice and shiny and clean, but at the same time, all the swirls, all that etc. are still there. Um, they haven't been you know, smoothed over or anything, and then obviously the wax is there to fill that in after you do that. So uh, just about to start uh, with the polish, I use my mother's um, machine over there. Uh, that's the electric one. Um, it's much easier because it doesn't go flat or die on you, so I like that one. And I'll be using Meguiar's Ultimate Polish, which is this one's for dark cars. So yesterday I clay barred the entire car and polished the entire car with my um, mother's uh, wax attack machine thing. Um, I love this thing, it's really good. Um, normally I'll just go, make sure you go, you know, back and forth, side to side, back and forth, side to side again. And uh, by the time you've done that, you're getting a pretty good shine out of it. But, uh, and this is an 89 model. There is things like that, so that's where a bird, a bat shit or something sat on it for ages. Um, it's eaten into the paint. Um, things like that I, I can't get out, and they've eaten right through. Um, but overall, the paint's nice and deep looking again, and it's come up pretty pretty good for, for the age of the car again. On it there, down that side. Um, not a lot I can do with that. Uh, and then as you can see, the chips on the bonnet. But Just waxed the entire car with Bowden's uh, Canubra wax, and buffed it all off, obviously. And then now I've just went over the whole car, this Auto Gleam Extra Gloss Protection. Um, and this is like a sealant that goes over the wax. Um, so you, you wax it, make it, you know, it looks good. Obviously it looked really nice and shiny. And then I put this over it. And this should hopefully, la you know, make the wax at least last, you know, a few months longer. So I'm hoping to get, you know, four or five months or something out of the wax uh, before it needs to be done again. So this is in this process of drying. As you can see, it's some dry, some wet. Um, but yeah, you just put this over the whole car and um, leave about half an hour. Come back and I'll buff this off. Sylvia's looking real sexy. As you can see, reflection-wise, she's looking great. Just a bit of a buff, and off she comes. Your left proof has like a bit of a chalkiness after you wipe it off. And after that, though, again, paint's coming up really good for the age of it. Um, yeah. Worst car I bought paint on the car, should I say, is the bonnet. But even that kind of burn mark, as you can see, um, that goes up the side there is really dulled. Um, the wax fills it in quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's not really not that bad, considering. Um, I'm trying to show you that, as you can see, it's still there, but um, compared to yesterday when it looked like complete ass, it looks a lot better. And then that's how she came up. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with, considering how she looked yesterday morning. There's still odd scratches and stuff and whatever, but it's pretty old paint. She came up pretty nice. Anyway, just another weekend's work. 